Hey, what's up, YouTube? A lot of people want to be able to play Netflix through a Raspberry Pi 3, and I understand it because you want your Raspberry Pi 3 to do as many things as humanly possible. Play games, Cody, Netflix, Hulu, all those great things. And uh, it came to my attention that uh, this guy, yeah, yeah, whatever his name is, posted that he was getting it on his Pi through Steam. And uh, I noticed that ETA Prime, who I love to support him, he's a good person, part of the community, said that uh, how to get Steam working on your, your Pi. But from what I understand is you still need a computer because you're streaming it from a computer. Now, I guess the big benefit would be that it's all wireless, potentially, that you can have the computer you know, upstairs in your house and then maybe your Pi is downstairs and now you can stream from your um, computer to your Pi. So I do see kind of a benefit there, as well as you could always just tell people like, hey, my Raspberry Pi does stream Netflix. How about that? Uh, in order to do this, if you are interested, like I said, ETA Prime already did a whole video on how to get Steam through the GeForce experience onto your Pi. You have to do all these commands in PuTTY, or you could type it out manually. Once you do all that, you're going to get an ad, probably like I just got. And then after you're done with that, um, in your emulation station, you should see a new logo called Steam, just like that. And uh, you have a 30 frames per second or a 30 frames per second version, as you see here. And uh, in this video, ETA Prime is actually playing games. Now, the thing that he didn't show in this video is that there's a built-in browser in Steam. And that's actually what this individual did here, is he hooked up his Raspberry Pi. He did the same coding as ETA Prime did. And within Steam, as you see here, he goes down and he's using an Xbox controller right now and he goes to the Google um, browser and he goes down and he goes over to Netflix and he opens up the web browser for Netflix. As you can see, it comes up kind of funky, but he's able to drag it around. He goes ahead and he begins starting a video and he's eventually able to snap it to the center of the screen, thus giving full screen Netflix streaming. And yes, it's free. So there you go. If you're interested in doing this, there's all the resources you need to do it. I'll put some links in the description. Uh, first off, the easy way is just go out and buy an Amazon Fire Stick, an Apple TV, or a Chromecast. For $35, it'll do it all for you. Seamless Wi-Fi, seamless streaming, no issues at all. Now, um, there's this article here. If you Google it, the only Raspberry Pi Cody 3 tutorial ever need. And uh, basically, you come down to the bottom and they basically say, oh, by the way, if you want to stream it, you're going to want to download this program. You know, it's called Play On. And uh, look at the price on this thing. It's down here somewhere. Store. Down. It's a free download, guys. They're saying it's a free download. That's so cool. Get Play On Desktop. Oh! Only $2.50 a month. Build annually. So you get billed for the entire year. And then, or $70. So then there's these guys here, which got a million freaking views, basically telling you that you need to buy Play On to stream <laughs> the freaking thing uh, through your pie. And I'm like, you guys didn't even freaking answer your question. I love this guy's, uh, these people down here. Misleading title, waste of time, Netflix does not work. Another video that shows you nothing to do at all. Let's like these right here. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Okay, um, but basically you can see that they, uh, basically they install the play on here and uh, they pay, what were they paying back then? $30 for a year. And uh, what are they now? 250, what is it? So it's 2.5 times 12. So they lowered the prices a little bit. It's only $30 a year now. Oh no, it's the same price. <laughs> Look at that. This company, instead of telling you $30 a year, they divided it by 12 and that's how they're pricing it. What a bunch of freaking ripoffs right there. Well, if we show them a lower number, they might pay for it. Okay, anyways. Um, so it's the same price back in 2014 that it is now in 2016. And uh, basically you have to like run this program and then you run it in your Kodi. And then you have to like, Look, it doesn't even give you the, the the like operating system of Netflix. You know, you don't actually get the Netflix experience. It's like looking through folders and stuff. And then when they finally do it and they uh, play, 
what do they play? Adventure Time, right? So they play the movie. Um, I mean, it loads up fast, but if you look really closely, there is some compression going on in the image. It's not a full 1080p HD movie experience. So um, it's like, why go through all that effort if, if it's not gonna be that great when you can literally just buy a Fire Stick or a Chromecast? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you like this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.